Here on Newsnight, let's uh, return now to our top story. And gun owners, at least some gun owners, are outraged by President Zuma's call for tougher gun laws. The president believes too many South Africans own firearms, saying it should be uh, more difficult to buy guns. But experts are warning tonight that amending existing gun laws won't necessarily put a stop to violent crime. Well, let's put that uh, under the spotlight. More on this. Uh, Pam Crosley is with us, a uh, Gauteng chairperson of Gun Free South Africa. And sitting to her left is Paul Oxley, uh, executive member of the Gun Owners Association. Both of you, thank Thank you very much for joining us. Paul, let me start with you. The truth is we have too many guns in this country, both legal and illegal. You surely can't dispute that. We well, certainly can. Um, we have to define who the, guns, who the, who the, who the wrong guns are with. Um, guns are inanimate objects. They're tools. Uh, in the wrong hands, they can be tragedy-laden tragedy implements. In the right hands, they can be lifesavers. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, we seem to have guns in, in uh, the wrong hands being put there by largely the South African Police Services and the South African Defence Force. Um, just last week uh, the South African Police Service was forced to admit in Parliament that they'd uh, mislaid in the last year alone 147 R5 assault rifles, just like the ones you've just shown lying under the vehicle of that cash and transit vehicle heist. Um, that's the problem. Uh, you can't address a sickness by treating the healthy people. You've got to treat the sick people. The sick people are the criminals. We have to take remove firearms from criminal hands, not from gun owners' hands. All right, Pam, let's bring you into the discussion. The, the, the reality is here, you're, you're never going to rid this society of guns in its entirety, but you would like laws amended. Um, I think the Firearms Control Act is actually a very good act that we have at the moment. Um, and, and it's quite right that the police have lost and had uh, too many firearms stolen or lost. Um, and they need to take action for that, which I think they will address now. But it's not only the police, it's also the military and the security firms. And, um, and we do find that a lot of firearms come from legal firearm, and, uh, firearm owners and go into the illegal pool. So we are very concerned about that. How do you tighten that, Paul? Pam, it's, yeah, a difficult, a difficult question because it's not entirely true. And I did warn about this before. Um, the facts of the matter are that, that approximately t uh, 20 times, or the South African Police Service particularly, are 20 times more likely to lose firearms in their possession than, than are gun owners, legal licensed gun owners, private gun owners. Um, in fact, um, in Judge Bill Prinsloo's judgment in the, in the Pretoria High Court earlier this year, um, just before the, 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 the 30 June deadline uh, for relicensing, um, he stated in his judgment, in a summation of his judgment, he stated that SAPS could offer no evidence that legal firearms are a problem or are used in violent crime. And this is not our opinion. This is the, the uncontroverted opinion of a High Court judge. Do you share that opinion, Pam? Most of the handguns in South Africa that are in the illegal pool come from previously licensed firearms. Mm. And in actual fact, when you think about it, all firearms were previously legal, whether they were in the police, the army, um, or the security forms, all with legal firearms. So how firearm do you close that, 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 that channel that you're referring to? We would um, or the security forms or with legal So how do you it. close that, 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 that channel that you're referring to? We would what, like what needs to happen? Do we need to tighten the gun laws? Um, we would certainly like to see the gun laws being even made more restrictive. In, we what, would in, actually, in what way? We would like to, to, our vision is to have um, handguns actually taken out of the hands of civilians in South Africa. But I also said to you a little earlier, Pam, you know, that, that's, isn't that overly idealistic? No, I don't think so. I think that if you look at the situation in Ireland and in England, handguns are banned there. And, and, the, and, and sorry, and the United, the United, the United Kingdom police are now being armed on the streets as a result of the huge upwelling in firearm crimes. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't seen stats to that. To that, um, you know. Would you support that. any tightening of legislation? Um, Jeremy, no. The legislation we have at the moment is particularly bad legislation. The Firearms Control Act is illegal and unconstitutional. In what way? According, well, in, uh, there's been two constitutional uh, cases decided against the Firearms Control Act so far this year. Um, the, in Judge Brent, Bill Prinsloo's uh, opinion, uh, this will come before the, the Constitutional Court next year, in, uh, probably in about February, I reckon. Um, he says there is a strong prima facie case that the Firearms Control Act may be unreasonable and unconstitutional in whole. That's a frightening statement for a, for a High Court judge to deliver uh, on, on a piece of legislation that, that 
that has been rammed through and has been forced down everyone's throats and is being wholly ineffective. Pam, how do you make gun owners more responsible if legal guns, as you suggest, are finding their way into this illegal pool? What, 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 surely it's, it's, it's incumbent upon the gun owners to, to be more responsible with their firearms. Then, then this project would go away. But the, the how do you do it and why aren't they? The Hold on a minute, Paul. Let's, I'll get you in a minute. The problem is, is that um, people say that they are responsible. And we do our own stats that we've taken from 10 newspapers over the year. And in actual fact, from these stats, um, there have only been six firearm owners who've actually been able to use the gun for the purpose that they, that they bought it for. And in actual fact, 29 children have been injured and 26 children have died. And that's just part of all the stats that we have. And people say they are responsible, and, but why do we read every day in the newspapers mm. about incidents where people, incidents happen from legal Paul Oxley, are your members irresponsible when it comes to storing and using firearms? Absolutely not. Pam's statistics are to absolutely be believed? Not, absolutely not. Pam's statistics are a load of rubbish, as is most of Gun Free South Africa's uh, statements. They're all taken from newspaper articles, I'm sorry, they're all documented. Pam, you've had six, you can document six. In the That's last taken from these sorry, ten newspapers. In the last, in the last week, I can quote you at least six instances where firearms have been used in defense of families and, where and, those and against and in the mainstream newspapers. Which newspapers? Because they're not in Guys, the I'm not going to argue about uh, sources. What I want to ask you in conclusion, and Pam, I'll let you answer this first. Where is the, the line, a very fine line perhaps, between the right to bear arms and ending up dead? We believe in South Africa you have a right to life, and a gun takes away that right to life. Paul, I'll give you the last word. Guns are de were designed to defend life, not to take life. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a trite point to say that guns kill. Guns don't kill, people kill. If guns weren't there, people would kill with knives or with bricks. You'd have but, at least have a chance. But your, own, your owners surely could be a little bit more responsible. My Let's owners see. aren't irresponsible at all. You can't say every single gun owner in South Africa is responsible. I can't say every single gun owner is responsible. So what I'm, su not. So what I'm suggesting, of course not. What I am um, suggesting is that you could tighten the legislation a little bit the to make sure. Jeremy, sorry, the legislation is incredibly tight as it is. There are safe inspections mandated. Although the SAPS is not capable of performing their function of, of inspecting the safes, that is not gun owners' fault. That is the SAPS's fault. Um, we, we we already have to have. Uh, all sorts of measures in place to secure our firearms. We do that. We are we are we are law we are law abiding. We are responsible. That's the whole point of being a legal gun owner. Folks, please feel free to take the debate outside. But thank you for your time, and it's something that I know that we will return to at some point. Joining us here on Newsnight, a little mini debater, Pam Crowsley, Gauteng chairperson of Gun Free South Africa, sitting next to her, Paul Oxley, executive member of the Gun Owners of South Africa. Let's move on to uh, one of the other big stories. In fact, this.